beautiful, wonderful people. How y'all doing? My name is Flying Earth Graves, and this is another episode of Jazzory Time. Today, talking about a tune from 1926 by the writing duo Ray Henderson and Mort Dixon. It's a song everybody knows called Bye Bye Blackbird. So, let's jump into it. Don't bop bop button piano cam. There we go. All right, gonna be playing this in the key of E flat today. in 1926 by the writing duo of Ray Henderson and Mort Dixon. So Mort Dixon and Ray Henderson had been uh, collaborating for about four years. I'm just gonna move this over because I think it's gonna fall. Careful, don't fall. Uh, had been writing together for about four years, so from 1923 to 1927. This song was by far their most successful song. Um, both of them were independent composers and um, I think Ray Henderson released Five Foot Two Eyes of Blue. Mort Dixon wrote I'm Looking Over Four Leaf Clover, I think. Um, among other songs as well. Um, but this probably was their most successful and well-known song. Um, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Um, this song was first recorded in March of 1926 by Sam Lannan's Dance Orchestra. Um, and another fun fact about this tune was that in 1926, at the end of the year, it chopped the chopped the tarts. It topped the charts uh, as the 16th best song of the year. So not top 10, but top 20, still pretty good. Okay, um, some other kind of fun little ditties about this song. In 1982, uh, the Recording Industry of America awarded John Coltrane um, the Best Jazz Solo Performance Grammy, and this was posthumously, um, for his album Bye Bye Blackbird. And two other notes, Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney both have recorded this song, so much be loved by the Beatles. I think there's a rumor that John Lennon also liked this song a whole lot and wanted to record a Beatles version of it, but I don't think that ever happened. And last but not least, there are alternate lyrics to this song called I'm Your Mailman. And if you want to check those out, you can go look at those. Um, they are very findable all over the internet. Yeah. So on that note, I'm going to sing it out to you. Uh, and we'll stay in the key of E flat. Oh yeah, there's a verse to this song. I don't generally play it. I know lots of people do. I think Jen Hodge likes to play the verse on this tune. It is a good verse, but it's not in my repertoire. Okay. <laughs> Sugar sweet and sour 
right, there's the tune. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Bonnie and I'll see you next time.